Hello my brothers and sisters in Nerdiness, welcome back to the Spider's Web and in this video we're going to be building this. This is one of Andy's flat pack MDF terrain pieces. That's Andy from Wigan War Games and Roleplay Group. Um, this is the one he gave me last year, or one of the ones he gave me last year to do. Um, and we are running really behind. So, we've got this one. Um, this is a 28 mil millimeter scale, 30 degree external um, corner piece for a castle um, or battlements rather. We have two sheets. And one thing I have forgotten to do is to get some warm water and give these a wash. Oh dear, bear with me, won't be a sec. Alrighty then, I'm back and I've got some warm, slightly soapy water. And I have, oh, it's a firmly big cloth, I thought it was, for uh, some smaller ones. I'm just going to trim these down a little bit. I don't need this big thing. So I'll just cut that there and cut this off here. That will do. Right, start at the back. Oh yes, new additions. We have a tattoo that I had done last week. Uh, basically a week haul today, these tattoos. Um, spider represents me, the butterfly represents Ollie, and the bees, well, our surname begins with B. And the show we do at Charlie Hospital Radio is the beehive. So that's what the bee represents, both of us together. So, Here we are. Now we, as I say, always when we're doing flat pack, when we're doing well, any of this terrain stuff, not soaking wet, but just damp. And we just go over and we just give it a little bit of a wipe. You can see how much dirt comes off it just from that bit alone so yeah it is always worth doing um it helps the paint stick as well um i say you don't want it soaking wet otherwise this is mdf remember it'll warp <laughs> let's get a little bit more squeeze it out and wipe over there we go. And that's that. So we'll leave that there. Pop it further over. Now, let's have a look at the destructions first off. So we have, this is the Blocks website, as you can see. Um, blocks website obviously blocks.co.uk this is the obviously the rest of the thing to take us to this page for this particular terrain piece so please read, read these dis instructions fully before starting construction PVA or equivalent glue will be required to stick sections together we have PVA not sponsored by Gorilla Glue it's just the glue I like using and to put the PVA on instead of having a piece of um, cut off MDF I've just got a piece of glass from a broken uh, picture frame it works it's not sharp edges so there's no um, reason or there's no risk of cutting myself on it so don't worry about that and um, please don't send in any um, Please don't comment in the comment section about it. It is perfectly safe. It's just, it is just like the edge of a piece of glass. 
there's nothing sharp though i can't cut myself i've made sure of that before i chose it okay so that's that bit done then it says sandpaper can be used to gently clean any joints i have emery board that'll do for this a sharp modeling knife will be required to remove sections from the sprue you've already seen me use that one please use knives with duco remember to cut away from yourself at all times no you don't want to do that um when you're doing precision work only when you're basically just cutting to trim things down to a specific to a rough guideline if you're doing specific work you always want to cut towards you because you have more control of the knife doing it that way so that generally is the um a good rule to cut away from yourself but when you're doing precision work you need to be cutting towards yourself to have more control uh, during the construction of this model you may find it convenient to use pegs elastic bands to hold pieces in place while you allow the glue to dry um i forgot to get masking tape if i need some i know where it is i can just nip and get it okay so there's a disclaimer here the images here show the 20 millimeter version of the kit but the 28 millimeter version is constructed in exactly the same way okay let's go to the first uh pictures remove the pieces shown from the sprue above so the pieces shown are dot one dot one dot one dot one dot one and dot one okay <laughs> so let's click on that i'm looking for where it's still secured to the main body of the i've actually used a little bit too much water on this i think it's um yeah it is quite damp so i have actually as i say used too much water on it hopefully that won't affect the final outcome um just have to be more careful in future when i'm doing this kind of stuff um it has brought out the grain or the texture in the thing so it may be a case of needing to sand it down properly um before painting but this is just the interior part so i probably won't need to piece and then there's this piece this is a fairly quick one i think to do i don't think it's going to take too long there's not much in the line of um pieces to work out i'm just hoping it's not going to those words aren't going to come back to haunt me as this is a and this turned out to be quite a fiddly um kit to put together um Hopefully it's going to be fairly straightforward. Unfortunately, we'll only find out <laughs> as we do it. So let's just get ready. So judging, looking at the pictures, what we have, we have. That, 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 and that. Um, I think that's probably, oops, the right ones I'm looking at. I may be wrong, but we will find out. So what do we need to do next? Glue the connectors to the main supports, the wider connectors being the ones closest together. What? Ah, okay, so yeah, it got them the wrong way around. So the wider ones being the ones closest together. So these go in here like so. 
ta 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 and that goes in the like that that's how that works okay so we've dry fitted them they work let's get some glue on the go the glue in this case has basically glued itself into the complete mess inside here but we do have a brush that we can use in fact we well, don't think we need a palette for this um i think all we need for this is what am i doing i forgot i will need to just sand this down a little bit to make it flush same here and on this edge as well it's just to get this connection bit sorted out let's zoom in a little bit so you can definitely see what we're doing okay so got this so now all i need to do is get glue running here along that edge I'll pop some down there, some down there. And that goes in there. And then we get going in there. make sure we don't need too much but we want enough that it will stick that will do and that goes on there like so next we need to do it i'm not going to use in fact i better use a palette for that because i've put the brush in way too far and again need to smooth this bit over i'm going to put this straight on because i don't want the glue going into the ferrule too much i will have to get this cleaned off sooner than expected because of the idiotic mistake i just made that's two in the space of one video wow <laughs> the first being obviously putting too much water on MDF but as I say hopefully it's not going to seriously impact the finished piece there we go and glue glue Blue. Adjust glasses because they're falling down my nose. Glue. Keep taking these glasses back to the opticians to get tightened up, and they tighten up and they start faffing about with it and make them loose, and it just starts sliding down my face again. I don't know what to say for the best with this. <laughs> I'm going to have to go back again and say, look, tighten them up. And keep them tight because I'm sick to death of looking down at things and them falling off. There's one, and there's the other. So that's, and I'll just wash the brush out and I, and again, forgotten to bring some form of cloth to. Um, 
to try and brush off, but never mind. As long as if I need it, just going to run the damp brush down the edges here and get rid of any squeeze out. And I'll pop that over there and that over there because that is the first stage done. Let's move on to the next bit, which is here. Take the base, rear wall pieces and additional supports. Okay, so we'll move these over, move the glue over, and we'll bring in the actual MDF boards, what we're looking for. Uh, okay, so I think we're looking for this piece, definitely. So we'll cut this piece out to start off with. There's a nosy moth going to see what we've done. There we go. So that's one piece separated or will be separated when because it's next piece is these ones. That's one, two, three, and four. And they can just be pushed out now. So that's those two. And then, there we go. We have these pieces here on the other. Um, For want of a better word, I'm um, 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 Panel might be a better word to use, not sprue. And that's that. And them. So if we look here, we have um, that piece which is here, we have that piece and that piece, which is the and the, and we have these pieces as well, which are these. So I will just go ahead and start getting rid of some of these, um, burrs that's on it from where it's been attached to the first panel. That's better. I'll just do it that way. Possibly quicker to do it this way than any other way. Da -da 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 -da. Talk amongst, talk amongst yourselves while I'm doing this. It is a, a bit of a boring procedure, but it has to be done. It's, um, I'll use the wider part of it. And that gets rid of most of it. There we go. And... There we are. Right, so next, how does this bit work? Glue all supports to the rear wall, then attach the whole assembly to the base. Okay, so that is the base. So that bit goes there. That bit goes there. Or so I presume. And then we'll slap glue 
along the bottom here. Just like so. Smack it on. And not forgetting this bit as well. Um. And then we'll do the bottom of here as well. Then all that can go in there. Just like so. <clears throat> and then We'll have this side. Which I should have put on the outside wall before gluing it down. Press it in, and there you go. And there go my glasses. So you keep falling off. And that is that particular building. Each squeezing a bit tighter. There we go, that will do the job nicely. Thank you very much. Now, what we need to do is this wall. And this bit goes on here. I'm not making the same mistake twice. I will add this to the external wall. Um, so I'm hoping I've got everything on camera beforehand. I do apologise if I haven't. I'm not good at this, and I have for 10, 10 years or so, I'm still struggling to find the right blooming camera viewpoint. But hopefully, I am not spoiling any enjoyment from the videos. Assuming, of course, you're getting some enjoyment from the videos. I'm hoping you are. I'm hoping you're getting quite a few useful things out of it. Um, good idea and little... I'm finding new things as well. Things you wouldn't automatically um, get from uh, gaming-based YouTube channels because I don't feature 40K. Or any, well, I don't really feature much in the line of um, Games Workshop games. Um, that's because I don't play them. I don't like them. Um, so that's the reason for that. Um, but now I need to get that in there. And I can now concentrate on getting the glue down here, along here, along there, and making sure now that I can get it so that it goes into the holes where it needs to go and locks tightly in. <sighs> and 
there we have it. They are locked, locked, and as they say, loaded. I'm going to run the glue up the interior angle here, just to make sure, or in the hope rather, not necessarily to uh, be sure, it's in the hope that it does actually help it to stay together. And I'm just going to wipe off excess glue around these edges using a brush, obviously. I'm going to give the brush a rinse out now. Um, give it a rinse, Make sure, making sure it's not completely dry before I wipe the glue away here, because I don't want a lot of glue on the exterior of the wall. That needs to be done on the interior. And I also want to make sure that where it needs to go, it's sticking. So I'm going to keep building up the amount of glue inside here. There we are. So that's that bit done, which um, leads us on to the next part. So if we go over to the map, not the map, the instructions, where does the map? Add the walkway section, gently sliding each lug into the con uh, corresponding hole. So this piece here will be the walkway section. So let us remove the walkway from the MDF panel. There we are. And how does it fit? Basically, it fits like that. I'm just making sure that I get the right angle for it. There are a lot of lugs I've got to make sure fit, but we'll get there. Just drying off my brush first of all before I do anything else. And that looked there, that looked there. Nope, it's not that way, it's that way. That way, that way, that way. Yep. That all fits okay. So I'll take this off and smother the top with glue. As if you didn't know. I'll just make sure everywhere that that is going to come into contact with itself will have a good coverage of glue, not overdoing it on the front edge. I might, I hasten to add. Um, though again saying that, if you do get too much and there's a bit of squeeze out then damp brush, wash the brush out and the damp brush will be okay to wipe any squeeze out away. Or I could just use a damp cloth, anything like that. I 
arrow just give the coverage there and that's it and then we can get back to popping this on we've already got it into position it's just a case of getting it back there there we go and that's what we have again rinse the brush out dry it off slightly and then we can go over with the damp brush and wipe off any of the overspill and we're left with that so next step the front wall pieces <coughs> Okay, so the front wall pieces, they will be, well, obviously, I presume, that piece. Pop me over there for a second. I'm going to do a few of these videos back to back and we'll be um, installing them. In consecutive days like I quite often do um, so I'm not I was if you remember when I started doing these I was actually giving choices of which ones you'd like to see I'm just going to I've got them so it's like mixed up and I'm just going to do one after the other after the other. Well, I've got my camera set up, done, and I'm in the mood for doing them. I'm going to. Um, I gave, I was talking to Andy a couple of weeks ago. I was saying I was going to make a, I was making a start on his Cthulhu. Um, and he said he'd sooner get these done before the Cthulhu, if I didn't mind. It didn't bother me, I just wanted to get the Cthulhu done because I was itching to do it and I've got that new uh, battery operated um, airbrush and I wanted to try it out but he said he wanted these done first so I can use the battery operated airbrush on these just as well as I can on the Cthulhu model. Um, but I know there's a few people who are dying to see the Cthulhu model painted. Me, not least of all. I want to see what I can do with it. I'm not doing anything fancy. <coughs> I know um, Lila Mev, the mini, um, oh, mini witch, has done this and she's put uh, lights in it and everything. I'm not going that far. Um, it's not my model. I'm just He's just asked me to paint it, so that's what I'm doing. Um, and I'm not very good with electrics at the best of times so if you wanted lights in it he'd have to do that himself before I got hold of it <laughs> although to be honest I was tempted when I saw the video it looked really impressive if you've not watched it I highly recommend going over and watching it if you don't know Minnie Witch she's uh, a really good painter gives a lot of um, really nice and helpful tips um, but looking at her work she's more of a display painter than I am um, I just do it for tabletop standards rather than for display but it's always nice to pick up various opinions and tips and tricks from different people so, that doesn't look right. Eh, you never know. Might be okay. It might just be me. So, I don't think that's the way it goes. No, that's definitely not the way it goes. Could that be the way it goes? No, nope, definitely not.
Okay, which the instruction shows these as being. Have I used the wrong bloody? I can't have. I can't have. Aha, uh -huh, I was. Right, they do go on at that funny angle. <laughs> there we are. Yes, they do go on at that funny angle. So, yeah, let's get glue on here. Now, remember, I'm, well, not remember, I have to remember not to go all the way up because these don't go all the way up. I'm just going to put a little bit at the top there, a little bit at the bottom. Um, that's what, this is why I wasn't too fussed about getting glue on the insides of these plastered out everywhere because they're going to be covered. I knew that they were going to be covered. I wanted to make sure that these areas were they. Um, on the external parts, I wanted to make sure that they didn't have glue all over them because that's where I'm going to be painting. And I didn't want paint everywhere. Or I didn't want glue everywhere because that would affect the paint. I would imagine it will stop that from sticking too well. Um, but there we go. We're going to get this done. I'm making sure that there is glue to the to each surface. But also, as you noticed, on the edge here as well, uh, next piece to go on is these pieces. Now, That will go there. And that will go there. And then these two pieces will fit in where around the edge on the outside, like so. So what I'm going to do first of all with these, I'm going to run the glue. Can you see what I'm doing there? I'm going to run the glue down there and push that in there. And I'm going to do the same on this one. Where's your other piece? There it is. That can go in there. And then we'll get these covered and he did actually tell me after I've been doing these for a bit oh actually it was after the first ones I did he did actually say to me I was only one I only asked you for put them together I wasn't expecting you to paint them as well I said, well, you know, you've asked me to do them, so I've done them. I enjoyed painting them and I wanted to do them. So 
he was happy. And you never know, I may get another little project on the go from one of the people I met when I was at Andy's Man Club on Monday evening. And they have a big model of the Millennium Falcon that they want painting. So I may be getting that one as well. We will find out as time passes. But now we look at the next bit of the That's it. Done. There we are. We have the external wall. Oh, sorry. The what, what is it again? 30 degree corner wall. And that's what we have. So it's just a case of letting that dry now. And then it can get painted like the rest of them. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you've... Um, Pick some, pick up some tips and tricks of how to deal with um, the MDF terrain. The more in, most important one I can actually st stress to you is when you first open them up, give them a um, wipe over with a damp, with damp, warm soapy water. It gets all the smoke residue off it, and uh, that won't be coming through when you get to paint them. That's a later date. I wish there was areas of coverage for these bits, but I'll think of something for that. But as far as, as, far as this video, that's all we have time for. So, until next time, as always, stay safe and take care. God bless and bye for now.